Welcome back to Mountain Mornings. The World Pro Ski Tour is all about adrenaline pumping dual alpine ski racing. We spoke to the WPST CEO, John Franklin, about the Olympians, World Cup, and NCAA racers that will be competing in Steamboat. Good morning. Uh, welcome, John Franklin, to Mountain TV. John's from the World Pro Ski Tour. Good morning, John. Good morning. Thank you for having me. A pleasure to be on Mountain TV. Uh, John, what is the World Pro Ski Tour? The World Pro Ski Tour is the longest running dual professional ski racing circuit in the world. Started in 1969 by Bob Biatti, carried on through you know modern times. The format is the format I think is the most exciting because you can actually see who wins. Guys race on two courses side by side, so you can see whoever crosses the finish first line first wins the race. With COVID sidelining so many sports this year, what is the World Pro Ski Tour strategy to put the race on? Well, it's been tricky this season, obviously, with COVID. We have to abide by all the city and county rules and regulations as far as COVID protocols. And it took us a while to get the season together. The World Cup in Beaver Creek, um, the biggest annual ski race that, that comes to America twice a year, Beaver Creek and Keelington, were both canceled. But we're here, we're a little more nimble than the World Cup. We were able to get a hold of the counties and we're finally opening the season with two races in Steamboat, February 6th and February 8th. Of course, we follow the protocols and I think it took a little longer this year because the ski areas had to figure out how to open. So we have to abide by all the protocols just like a restaurant does or any other operating business. Will there be any well-known names this year? Um, we always have well-known names um, that some of the pro champions over the years have been, you know, the greats of their eras, Jean-Claude Keeley, Spider Savage, and of course, Steamboat Spring Colorado's own Billy Kidd, who is still the only man to win amateur world championships and pro world championships in the same year, 1970. And I'm sure we'll have him in our show from Steamboat. He's the director of skiing there. and. He always comes and visits us. But as far as right now, we've got national parallel champion Garrett Driller, who spends some time in Steamboat. We've got three-time Olympian Nolan Casper. We've got NCAA champion Rob Cohen. We've got uh, Austrian racers like Simon Bretfus Kalamander, who was our Rookie of the Year last year. Uh, Austrian ski team member who's now racing pro. We've got Michael Ankeny, who was uh, a World Cup racer. I know he raced in Kitzbühel and some of the other great European sites. And then, of course, Ted Ligeti jumped over last year to the Pro Tour. So Ted raced in a couple of our races last year. We expect to see him back at a couple of races this year. Ted is a two-time Olympic gold medalist and five-time World Cup giant slalom champion. Uh, what have the athletes been doing since last season? Well, athletes are athletes and they're training and they're getting ready for the year. Things were a little up in the air with COVID. As you remember, they closed all the ski areas in March last year. So we lost the last four races of our season. But the racers, they didn't take a hiatus. They were training. They were getting ready for this season, trying to make up for lost ground and make up for lost time, if you will. You know, and, uh, you know, they're ready to rock and roll with us this year. Why is Steamboat the perfect place to have the World Pro Ski Tour? Steamboat is a phenomenal venue for us because Halson Hill, um, first of all, it's very close to the main street of Steamboat Springs. So people can see our races. They can be appropriately socially distanced and kind of watch from town. Also, it's going to be on mountain media all around Steamboat so they can stay home and watch. So that's from a spectator standpoint. From a racer standpoint, it's a really cool hill. They're great challenging courses because there's a dog leg, there's a steep section. Uh, what else should people know about the World Pro Ski Tour and how to stay up to date on the series? Well, you can always find us on worldproskitour.com, but I think there are a couple of interesting factors right now. Parallel skiing, our style of racing, will be in the Olympics for the first time in Beijing. So we've got a lot of racers that want to come out and you know practice. So we are a perfect training ground for the for the next Olympics, which is pretty cool. Uh, John, how can people watch uh, the World Pro Ski Tour? Well, if you can't watch um, in person on the mountain, we're live on Flow Sports, so flowlive.tv. Also in Colorado on Mountain TV. And then we have our own reality series. It's like 
the ultimate fighter, but it's the ultimate skier. It's called In Between the Gates, delves into the lives of the racers, tells those Rocky Balboa stories about how a, a local racer might get to stand in the starting gate next to a two-time Olympic gold medalist like Ted Ligeti. Well, thank you again, John. Uh, again, you can watch the World Pro Ski Tour on Mountain TV and Flow Sports February 6th and 8th.